Hello, I, my name is Matthew Brown, and I'm going to teach you how to use the Linux bash command line to concatenate multiple CIF files into one quite easily. First, go to the directory where you have the files stored. I've just picked a random directory with a bunch of CIF files in it. So I'll show you here. There. Okay, so the first way is the easiest one. It's the one I use because it has the advantage of letting you choose the order. So what you just do is you type in cat for concatenate. Then you want to, in the order you want, list out all the file names you want. Now I just did that by double clicking on each file name and then pressing middle click. Depending on your system, that might be a bit different. It may be with control copy and control paste. It may be with, uh, command, with the command key and yank if you're an Emacs person, but it doesn't matter how you get them in there. You can use autocomplete. You know, that would work fine. That's just by pressing the tab key. Then you type an arrow and say all.sif. Hit enter and you'll see right down here all.sif. And we'll remove that since we don't actually need it. Now, suppose you want to instead. Just merge everything. You don't care about the order. You're just, say, emailing it to someone. I prefer this first method because, for example, if I have a CIF, pre made CIF file with my x ray settings and, or like the hardware description of my x ray, my name, the authorship information, I can make sure that goes up first. Um, and I can also make sure the order of the structures in the CIF matches the paper. But, some people do not care, and in that case, everything is a bit easier. You would just do cat star dot sif to select all sif files in this folder. Now you can't send it to a sif file because as soon as this command starts to run, they'll create a sif file, and as it goes through, it would find that and keep adding it to itself. That's a bad idea. So we just go for all. Doesn't need an extension. If you want, you could give it all dot fake, but whatever will work. Then just move all to all dot sif, and we have an all dot sif. And if you do that, you can see it is indeed a sif file. So yeah, as you see, that is very easy on the bash command line. Uh, that'll be almost identical on any other command line like CSH uh, or KSH. This will work on Linux. This will work on Mac. Uh, this will work on Windows under the Linux for Windows subsystem. Whatever you have, uh, this will be the same on... This will, I in fact, also work on PowerShell uh, because it's aliased all of these relevant commands into place. Um, the only thing this won't work on is the traditional Windows cmd.exe command.com whatever dos command prompt and i'll do another video on that uh thank you and i hope you found this helpful